Hey folks, Ray Gino here with Prophecy and Survival for Christians. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about Cold Steel's Voyager. And this is a, a redesign of the old Voyager that they, they uh, produced. And I have to say folks, I am really impressed with this knife. I, I, I love it. <laughs> I carry a Voyager. I'm a big fan of the Voyager series. And before, prior to this, they used to have something like a banana handle. And in fact, if you get my book, you can see the pictures of my old Voyager. What I did is, being being a good steward, I, I paid the knife forward to somebody else and retired it, to, but gave it to somebody who could really use my, my old Voyager. And this is what I replaced it with, with a the Voyager Large 4-inch plain edge clip point. Now this also comes in a, a half and half, so half serrated, half plain, or also it comes in a fully serrated. Uh, I opted for the, the complete plain edge. My old Voyager was a full serrated, and I just found that I needed to cut rope and open boxes and letters and, and everything, and I just really needed a, a good everyday carry knife to that be multi-purpose, uh, dual, you know, and be able to just kind of do whatever I need to do out here on the ranch and, and just be a good knife. And, and you know what, folks? This is it right here. I'm really, really impressed with what uh, Cold Steel has done. They've improved the handle. I love the ergonomics of it. It fits the hand really beautifully. It has even a good pommel on it, so if you need to, you could even crush and bang. Uh, it, is, it is a very well thought out knife. It is also incorporates the new tri-lock system that Cold Steel has is incorporated into some of their lock blades. It's a, it's a really good easy knife to flip open. Um, again, flips open. And this knife still is rather new so I, and I haven't really flicked it as much or worked it or broke it in much or anything. So it's still a little stiff but even then right out of the box flips right open. Um, right out of the box, razor sharp, folks. This puppy holds an edge. And then also, you can see that they've replaced the shiny metal with a like an antiquing finish or a, a uh, I, I don't uh, stone wash. I think is what they call it. But I really like this versus the shiny metal. Um, shiny metal always had fingerprints on it and stuff, and and you know I was constantly wiping my knife off and and things like that. But where this one, you know, no fingerprints and and it's just it's a really I like I like what they've done here. Very very nice knife. I also like the improvements is that they've added a I don't know if you can see here a an indexterous uh, clip holder, so you can unscrew this clip and they also give you a left hand carry clip that you can then put on this side if you want to carry it left handed or carry it right handed and and it's perfect it's it's really this is my right hand carry as you can see and and it's perfect pull it out of the pocket draw it flick and it opens right up um, you can also use the thumb thumb screws to, to open it and, and everything but it's a very well built knife the texturing I've heard some people complaining about the texturing and, and I kind of have to disagree. I, I really like the texturing. It, it holds in the hand really well. It grips in the hand very well. It doesn't slip or anything like that. Uh, some people were complaining that the, the clip will cause you know wear on the pocket, pocket edge. And what I've done, and this is what I do with all my knives anyways, but as you can see here, I've kind of bent the clip up a little bit just to give a little space between the 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 knife body and the clip clip itself so it's still tight enough to re be retained in the pocket but it won't wear on on the pocket or anything I like a knife that I can take out of my pocket rather quickly versus fighting with it to get it out so this is this is a really really good knife I'm, I'm really pleased with this this is again their four inch but got something to show you here and that is their five and a half inch pocket sword. This is the Voyager Extra Large. And I want to personally thank Lynn Thompson who uh, sent this to me personally. You heard that I wrote about it in my book, Survive the Coming Storm. And I, I wrote very favorably for Cold Steel and because I'm a big Cold Steel fan. And Lynn Thompson sent this to me. This is their, again, their Extra Large Voyager with a half serrated, half plain, half serrated, half plain. And, and again, very ergonomic handle, but I like what here is that you can even choke down on the, on the handle and that will give you a little bit, inch, two inches of, of more space so that if you had to like reach out 
and touch somebody or something like that, you've got those extra two inches to, to do that with. Uh, or you can also just hand, hold it like so. But again, good sturdy pommel. Um, it, this really, really feels good in the hand. I'm, I really mean that. I even like that even here, and I don't know if you can see this, but my pinky just wraps right onto that clip. And it, they, they really did a good job er ergonomically of, of designing or redesigning the, the Voyager handle. So I'm really impressed. Again, they have the, the ability to put the, the clip on either right hand carry or left hand carry. And as you can see, uh, this is set up for left hand carry. Um, this, one is also, this one is set up for right hand carry. And that's how I carry. This is my right hand pocket, left hand pocket. Uh, this is my, my everyday utility knife. And this is my backup weapon that I, if ever anything needs to happen, this is the one that I use. Um, but again, opens like a dream. It's it's just a, a really great knife. Um, I, I highly recommend it. Price for these, um, this runs probably around sixty bucks. This runs about fifty bucks. Very well built. Uh, both incorporate the tri-lock system, and I highly recommend getting them. I've like I said, I've retired my old Voyager, paid it forward to a, a friend of mine, and. Uh, because he needed a knife really bad, so gave it to him to pass on the blessing. Otherwise, it would just sat in my drawer and, and everything. But a uh, very, very nice knife. I'm, I'm really, really pleased with the quality and, and workmanship of, of the new Voyagers. So, folks, I, I highly recommend these. These are affordable. These are really good. This is a great battle blade. Um, I mean, whip that out, and it's gonna—it's—it's it's got attitude. It, it really does. But I'm really, really pleased with this knife, and really pleased with with the whole Voyager series as a whole. In fact, here, look at this real quickly. As you can see, the the blade lengths here, very good knives. Um, you can definitely see the the size difference and everything. But uh, good knives to carry. Excellent purchase, and. Uh, for under 100 bucks, man, these are these are some excellent blades. So, hope you guys go out and get them. This this is a, a really good knife, and uh, I just I just can't say enough about it. I, I love these. I was really pleased with it when I got them. Um, but Cold Steel once again steps up the plate and delivers. Gotta love them. Good company. Great blade. So this is Ray Gano here with Survival for Christians. Talk to you again.